Should also mention that yesterday we were talking about the flight home from Crown Jewel. And this is the update. You'll be stunned. WWE dismissing allegations stemming from recent claims made by an ex-WWE star regarding last year's Crown Jewel event. Jerry McDivitt, on behalf of WWE, issued the following statement to Forbes. After the court appointed a third law firm to be lead counsel, WWE provided all three law firms with specific detailed facts from the persons with actual knowledge of the situation, including the phony allegations about the plane. The first two law firms then dropped their lawsuits to avoid sanction motions. The third firm chose to ignore the specific facts they had been provided and instead cited an unnamed disgruntled former WWE wrestler with no knowledge of the facts. WWE is preparing its response to the lawsuit and will be moving to have it dismissed. The claims were made in one of several recent lawsuits by WWE shareholders who argued that WWE has made misleading statements regarding their business dealings with Saudi Arabia. So that's the claim. I always love when when Jerry McDivitt does a a statement. It's always filled with with fiery verbiage. So that's that's the uh, that's the WWE statement there. Mm. Any comment on that statement right there? Very uh, true to form for McDevitt and WWE. My only thing coming from this is, again, they're talking about one person, this one disgruntled employee. Around that time, there seemed to be plenty of disgruntled employees who happened to be on that flight or coming home from that flight or just gotten home from that flight. So my question would then be, if this is all a lie, why there would be one actually more disgruntled employees that would actually say these things then about you and about your company. If that's the case where everybody's got to be lying about this, why would they be lying about this? Why would they have such allegations against your company and against you if if none of this was true? Why are there so many of them independent of each other? Or is this a big conspiracy from all of these people? And and they're only allowing one to come out at a time. Allow me for a moment, okay? Sure. I think that... I believe that many of the wrestlers believe what this former employee identified as CW2 claimed, okay? Because I heard from them, all right? Listen, I wasn't there. I wasn't there as part of the meeting between Vince and the Prince. I don't know what happened there, okay? But I do know that the wrestlers believed... The story that this wrestler told, okay? That doesn't mean that it's true. It doesn't mean it's not true. It's what they believe, okay? Now, maybe they would believe somebody different, something different if Vince would have just, like, told them something. Instead, he, like, he got the hell out of there. And they were stuck there. And, and they didn't know what was going on. They were, they were hearing things from different people. I mean, this, this individual here, I mean, that's what he was told, he claims, from Mark Carano, okay? So... I believe they believe that this was something akin to not like a deadly hostage situation, but that they were being held there against their will by the Saudi government because there was an issue between Vince and the prince. Like, 100% I believe they believe that. Their their families believe that. There were wives tweeting about this, etc., etc. Now, at the end of the day, virtually everybody went back. So... You know, when they got home and they were fine and they were not in immediate danger and the money was offered to them and they were pushed to go, they ended up going back. So at the end of the day, I don't think that anybody felt that their lives were in danger, but clearly they felt that they were pawns in an issue between Vince McMahon and the Prince, and they felt that... They were part of a low-level, as this person said, hostage situation, okay? I believe that they believe that. Now, what happened with Vince? What happened with the Prince? What happened with the feed being cut? Well, I don't know. And, and the wrestlers don't know either. So the people that know are like Vince, the Prince, and maybe a small handful of other people.